Good evening. You are joining with Business Today on Channel Live. On this program, as you are well aware of, what we provide you is as to be, we send you knowledge and we also give you knowledge when it comes to uh, business and entrepreneurship for budding entrepreneurs and also those who, are, those who are willing to study and also learn more about business. That's exactly what we do for you today on this program. So stay with us and be inspired to know more about entrepreneurship on Business Today. To business today, we invite numerous guests when it comes to entrepreneurship from Sri Lanka and also from the global outside of the country as well. So today we have a special guest who has crossed borders and become successful when it comes to his line of business, but not just one, but many at the same time. Yes, talking about success and also about entrepreneurship come together and also succeeding, re reaching success out of this country in a different land, but still managing to serve the country in return is what we call a true entrepreneurship when it comes to with um, introspective leadership at the same time. So welcome you uh, to the studio. We have Dr. Uh, G. B. Hevavasam, CEO and the President of Fine Finnish Engineering Sri Lanka. So join with us today. Good, good evening to you. Good to have you on board. Good evening, sir. Thank you very much. I'm very excited to be next to one of my fellow citizens. Thank you very much for that having me good. here. Same here. Right. So stating, uh, starting with um, who you are, because now, the, as the profile explained, I mean, you are not just one personality, I would say, like multiple personalities in one person. It's when it comes to business and also about self-understanding and also leadership thinking and education and interests at the same time. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself for the viewers to understand who you exactly are and how you define yourself. Very good. I was uh, born in Sri Lanka, just like you, mm -hmm. uh, this beautiful land. Mm -hmm. And uh, after my A-level, mm -hmm. I got an opportunity to work with uh, Air Lanka, mm -hmm. now known as Sri Lankan Airline. Yep. And I think I spent like 17 months, uh, and that's one of my best, life, uh, best time in my life. Right. And then moved to uh, uh, Middle East to work with Alitalia Airline mm -hmm. for another two years. Right. Uh, so then I moved to U.S. Uh, to do my higher studies. Mm -hmm. uh, I major uh, aviation management. Right. And uh, so I studied travel and tourism mm -hmm. and uh, with the associate degree and mm -hmm. then uh, uh, aviation management with bachelor's degree. And then I completed my MBA, mm -hmm. and then recently I completed my PhD right. in uh, global leadership. That's brilliant. So, so I can see a career, sort of uh, a streamlined career when it comes to uh, an interest at the same time when it comes to airlines. But this is in contrast to what you do and what you have f uh, uh, finally studied even for your PhD is quite different. So I would say, is it together? It's at the same time. Well, it's, uh, I don't see any difference. Only thing is, uh, with the PhD studies, I think it was very helpful for me to understand uh, who I was and mm -hmm. who I am mm -hmm. and what I can do uh, in the near future and right. where I should go. So I think it seems like uh, uh, the studies, especially mm -hmm. with the mindfulness, that mm -hmm. focus me to direct into the right path, so-called. Right. So uh, I, that's where I find the happiness. Mm -hmm. And I feel it and I experience it. Mm -hmm. And with my experience, I, in, I, I, whatever I do, mm -hmm. whether my studies or, or my family life or my social life or my business life, mm -hmm. I, I uh, include those findings, those teachings, and uh, uh, I see the full benefit of it. Benefit of it. So you use that as a roadmap or like a guideline. Very correct. That's mm -hmm. my, the way actually. It's the path or the way that I move forward. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Let's also speak about your company. Now, the reason why you why we invited you on board is today because you are successful in entrepreneurship at the same time, uh, which is very important when it comes to the theme of this program. So a uh, fine Finnish um, company. Uh, what is this about? Now, this is something, uh, the name is unheard of, unfamiliar to some of us, but we know there's a lot happening in, behind the scenes. So, so tell us about that. Very correct, yes. Um, well, going back to Fine Finish, uh, I'll start with a li little history about it. Yeah. Uh, one of my sister, I'm coming from a family with five sisters and all elder to me and I'm the youngest. Right. So sec my, one, my, one, my second sister started this business like 20 years ago. Right. 
and then my dad help and other family members help to the small business mm -hmm. at that time we had like uh, uh, two machines a lathe and milling machine and uh, uh, three employees right and then during that time uh, our main uh, 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 so during that time uh, my sister migrated to canada mm -hmm. and then i was studying in us mm -hmm. and uh, so then the, uh, uh, my dad couldn't uh, 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 do it properly and he thought like you know he's getting old and he just want to sell it right and uh, i got a surprising call at that time from two of my nephews right uh, they were 16 and 17. Mm -hmm. they told me uh, uncle uh, uh, cia is going to sell the the this operation is there any way that we can do it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i said yes but with the one promise the promise was if you guys are ready to talk to me every Sunday and tell me what exactly happened the last Sunday mm -hmm. and, and the previous week, and then I will explain to you what needs to be done for the coming week. So with that agreement, we started this business. And until today, we are doing this Sunday meeting happily, mm -hmm. and we have more than 160 employees. From 3 to 160. Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. See, the stories like this really inspire not only the uh, not only the corporates out there, but also the budding uh, um, startup founders out there who wants to start their own business. I will have someone who has really started something. That's what we do when it comes to the uh, business today program to give uh, provide stories so that people can learn and understand and what to expect in the future. Because all the storylines are ev eventually end up in success if you you know get committed. Properly. Very correct. As you said, the commitment, mm. that's play a bigger role in the business. Mm -hmm. While we start things knowing where we are going, yeah. right? And, and, and this is today's world, it's very challenging. It's not only today, it has been in the past too. Mm -hmm. So this environment, what I see today is not much different than what you, we used to experience in the past. If we can go back to maybe like 100 years mm -hmm. and we can line these things up and see where we are. Uh, uh, right now and where we were those days and uh, looking at that and we can see where we are going mm. and in order to uh, 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 see the vision you have to stick with your commitment mm -hmm. so I think fine finish did it and doing it mm -hmm. so that is uh, one of the reason why we are so successful today right but I would like to to share my experience and our team experience mm -hmm. with the audience if someone is into a startup a business mm. so pay high attention to your own commitment right so your commitment comes from within yourself not from someone else mm. we read books we listen to lectures and uh, we go into workshops we go to school and study but everything is depend on your own capabilities which means pay attention to yourself more you pay attention to yourself you stick with your commitment. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful because you see the light uh, end of the tunnel. And as soon as you see that, you stick with it, you will move forward on that path. Mm -hmm. But does commitment only help you grow a business? Do you think education and other environmental factors? Now, now take COVID, for example. People are complaining so much, saying, OK, we can't do this and that because there's no, not this, not, I mean, a scarcity of everything, that's what they say, and the, and the trouble. Um, how do you, I mean, your company, existing for 20 years, I would say, um, how did you cope with this challenge of uh, COVID? Well, I think being a Sri Lankan and coming from this uh, uh, environment, mm -hmm. uh, for me, uh, the teaching of Buddha helped me a lot to live and mm -hmm. do the business in this COVID environment. Mm -hmm. uh, when we go in deeper with these studies, it is not something that we need to go and look outside of Sri Lanka. It is within us. Mm -hmm. So what I and my team did was pay high attention to these teachings. Mm -hmm. With, through these teachings, we apply that into our own business. As an example, when the COVID hit, you know everybody was shut down and we never knew what it was at the beginning. Yeah. And our main focus was how we are going to survive. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing we focused. Mm -hmm. The company was shut down for like three, four months, but we were not worried. Mm -hmm. What we focused was, well, we need to find a way to survive. Mm -hmm. Nothing else, not the profits, not the loss you are going to gain out of this, how we as a team going to survive. Mm -hmm. So um, in one point, I remember 
uh, one of my colleagues is saying in the fine finish, he has done uh, 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 money transfer to the employees more than 100, uh, uh, 150 times. Right. Those transactions, the amount of the transactions are 5,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees, 8,000 rupees. The reason is those immediate cash, why we produce, uh, provide those to the team is to survival. Mm -hmm. Because we never knew what's going to happen at the beginning of the COVID and we need to, to have some reserve too. Mm. And also in the same time, we have a duty as a company to look after our own people. Yes. So in that case, we did daily Zoom meetings. Mm -hmm. okay. We worked not eight hours, uh -huh. it's almost 24 hours. Right. And not only me, everybody, everybody. everyone who involved with our operation, we did it. Right. So we did not lay off any person. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. the team members are with us. What about the efficiency of the company? Did it increase or decrease during the COVID times? Well, no, it increased. Really? Yes. The Govio, the concept, we started building greenhouses mm -hmm. because we knew that the COVID, the main issue going to be food. Mm -hmm. We need to find a way how to produce our own food. Mm -hmm. So we came up with this greenhouse concept mm -hmm. and we started a new business called Govio. Govio. Mm -hmm. And that encouraged everyone. How we started was we told all our uh, 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 team members, start farming something in your own backyard. We did it. Mm -hmm. And they were like, you know, they used to go to their backyard. These people never planted anything <laughs> previously. But this encouragement mm -hmm. and then the, the new concept, they grab it so easily. Right. So that's the driving force of Fine Finish. We are engineers. Yeah. But overnight, we became farmers. farmers. That was very interesting. That was very interesting, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, you, uh, now Dr. Helvasam, you, you um, are based in, uh, in the U.S. And you visit here, I mean, this visit is just two months long. But you've been managing all this business that is based in Sri Lanka from overseas. How did you do that? I mean, there's also time difference at the same time. It, it is, it is, it is. So my wife always laugh at me because I sleep next to my iPhone. <laughs> 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 but the time difference is not an issue once you have your motivation, as I said earlier. Mm -hmm. So y that encourages you to do more. And also, me being in Chicago, doing something to Sri Lanka, I always feel mm. I'm doing my duty. When you feel that you are du you're doing your duty to your own people, what else you need? Mm, satisfaction is... That satisfaction keeps me alive. Mm and I can start a new business tomorrow too. Exactly. Right, talking about fine finish, we can see some finely finished items on the table. If you can let us know exactly what they are. They are numbered one, two, three, four. Correct. <coughs> the beauty of these particular, uh, I got a few of the samples. Uh, I think I, ho uh, uh, I can give um, some message to these new entrepreneurs, mm. okay. right? right. Um, I'll start with this. So fine finish, the history is almost like 20 years. Right. When you go back to uh, last year, December, mm -hmm. that was our highest sales. Last year, that was 2021, December. 2021, December was the, our best month. This is during COVID. This is during COVID. Hmm. Interesting. This is during COVID. Okay. So these few samples uh, uh, bring the examples of that. Right. And if you see this one, uh, it's a twist link. Mm -hmm. This used by the music industry. Right. We send this part to US. And you manufacture this in Sri Lanka? We manufacture this in Sri Lanka oh. with uh, uh, another supplier, and that goes to uh, US. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the second item you see right there, used for the gloves industry. Right. You know, with the COVID, mm -hmm. the gloves industry became like a huge boom. Yep. They used to get this part from other countries. Mm -hmm. This was not produced in Sri Lanka. This one was not produced in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. Because of the challenges of the freight and the, the import barriers and everything, so manufacturers want to find some other alternatives. Right. So they contacted Fine Finish. Mm -hmm. and ask them, hey, can you pro uh, 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 produce this one? Can you manufacture these items there? And we do it. Mm -hmm. And we do right now, we do it in bulk coders. And the people who are in this gulf, gulf industry right now, 
they don't need to do any imports. Right. They can come to us and yeah. get this thing done because we are in their backyard. When you say bulk exports, can you, you talk, we, we are producing in like uh, uh, 10,000, 15,000 pieces of these. We are equipped with uh, a million and late uh, CNC machines. Wow. Yes. Mm. And even like last week, our team put another order to get the two new machines. Right. So which means Bec the capacity is increasing. Exactly. Because we have seen the demand in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. For me, still, this country is untouched. Mm -hmm. And you have the opportunity. And these particular items tell the viewers what opportunities in this country and where we can go. I'm not a big player in this. Mm -hmm. Very, very small player. Mm -hmm. There are big room for newcomers to come and join. And that's what I would like to see. Brilliant. And uh, in order to do that, we have decided to have a, a educational institute within our own organizations. Mm -hmm. Because in Sri Lanka, we have a big issues with the manpower. Yes. We cannot find the man proper manpower. Mm -hmm. So we have to go into the young uh, uh, population and let them know the opportunities and work with them these uh, 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 items mm. and when they see when they get excited about these particular projects mm -hmm. I don't think that uh, they will leave they will stuck in this country and mm -hmm. they will find their happiness right here exactly I think finding happiness is one of the key reasons why I mean key belief that they have that that exists in different countries but not here that's what they think but looking at these products you can see how uh, they're just lying on your table Yes, the happiness is within you. Exactly. I cannot give that to you or you cannot give back that back to me, right? Mm. So it is within you. Now, if you see, right, this item here. The big one. Mm. The, the big one that we use. This is a mold for uh, soda bottles, mm -hmm. right? Right. So you drink soda every day, right? Yeah. You have seen the bottles and you have never paid attention how this is going to come to, you know, as yeah. an item. So we do this stuff in Sri Lanka. Wow, okay. And these stuff, someone can take these ideas and create something new that we have not seen yet. That's where I think we should go. We all mm -hmm. should go in that route. Mm -hmm. The fourth one, I think, uh, the third one, you didn't explain that one. The fourth, that. yeah, yeah, right, third one. Third one. This is for the construction industry. This one is uh, for the automated window. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right? In houses. In houses. Right. So there are houses with the sensors. Mm. When the sun out, this close. <laughs> when the suns go away, and uh, so this this works with the sensors. Wow. So we produce that in house. Mm. Our team is capable. Our team is not from other countries. They are these Sri Lankan who are very capable of doing this stuff. That's what we have to pass this message to another Sri Lankan. Come mm. on. Join with us. We can do this together. That's where we can find the happiness. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, moving on with these uh, businesses that uh, you, you mentioned, I mean, these are really, um, these are ideas that have been existing. You're just, um, you know, from business to a business, you supply this uh, requirement because you've had to fulfill that requirement that, that creates demand. So in Sri Lanka, um, now, as you rightfully mentioned, people are sort of, um, they complain about uh, not being able to find opportunities for someone who is, uh, now this is really inspiring. You can see how these novel ideas uh, is uh, now uh, making a luck or like uh, brings you happiness out of that. Um, how can someone who is new, who is now currently inspired by watching the program, find an idea? How do they spawn an idea? How, what kind of aspects do they have to look? I mean, when you look at a vehicle, you see so many parts. When you look at like a Coke bottle, we never think about that. So how do you look at things in, from a different perspective? I think what I encounter with younger generation in Sri Lanka, every time when I come to Sri Lanka, I get uh, a special time to talk to people. Mm. If I'm driving on a, a three-wheeler, I talk to the three-wheeler person. If mm -hmm. I go to a restaurant, I talk to them. Mm -hmm. And doing that, what I'm learning is their ideas and their mentality. Mm -hmm. And we have brilliant ideas within especially the young generation. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we do not have mm -hmm. many institutes or places where they can come and do their own research. Mm -hmm. So I welcome anyone who's watching this program. If you have similar ideas in the engineering sector, mm -hmm. please come to Fire Finish, talk to our team, mm -hmm. be with them, 
and bring your own idea and we will provide all the machineries and the, the skills that uh, a person need in order to bring that dream uh, uh, product into the market. We will help on that. Right. We have those connections, we have that facility. Mm -hmm. That's what I think as a business entrepreneur, and I invite other business leaders in this country too, to open up for the general public mm -hmm. who has their brilliant ideas right. to, to come and talk to those uh, uh, factories. And just, just, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Just to clarify on that invitation, uh, you're looking for individuals with ideas or do you want some sort of expertise uh, or some, ex some experience in what they want to produce at the same time? What well, it's about combination. combination. It's, a, it's a combination because again, uh, our door is always open. Open, okay. Right, and if you are an experienced person mm. and you know how to get this done, but mm. you don't have CNC machine, mm. come on, we have it. We will have it to you, right? Okay. That's where the innovation comes. comes. That's where the new ideas comes. That's what we really need in this country. Mm. So we are available for that and we are open for that. Right, mm -hmm. okay. So finally, let's give a small advice, not a small, actually like effective advice to, um, to other um, entrepreneurs out there. Could be the ones that are established, maybe those who are established in business point of view, but not in self-introspect. But uh, there can also be stu uh, individuals who are studying business, and there can be also be stu individuals who have just started their startup. What's your unified uh, advice for them? Well, it's very simple. Majority, when you think about a business, what the the money is come to money is the biggest player, mm -hmm. right? Money is the biggest player. What my advice to all these startup business or the entrepreneurs? Keep money as a side effect of what you do, not the main thing. Mm -hmm. Once you go into the, the money itself as your first priority, I think we are going to get into trouble. Mm -hmm. But if you go with your vision, having money as your uh, 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 side effect of it, I think that's where we can do wonders because we are not focusing on money. Money will just generate as a side effect. Mm -hmm. Right. That's where we should go with the we should should go. Mm -hmm. a different perspective. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Avasan, for joining in. I mean, it was a, such a great experience uh, speaking with you and also sharing the knowledge and spreading the knowledge to our viewers out there who are watching right now. So thank you so much for joining in in your busy schedule within this two year, two two months uh, visit in Sri Lanka. Thank you very much. I really happy, and uh, I hope I convey something to my fellow citizen. That's what I really wanted to do. And thank you again. Definitely. And to our viewers, thank you so much for joining in as well. We will see you in the next episode of Business Today. Have a good night.